everybody. Um, today we're back to where I found that musket barrel. Um, if you seen, if you watched the last video, you saw me get that. I came back hoping to get the butt plate from it. So far, no luck. All I found so far has been uh, just tons of fishing sinkers, and that's about it. I just beeped something right down here. Um, I can see it. It look, looks like a coin. I don't know what type of coin. So I'll put you under so you can see it, and then we'll see what the coin is. It's a memorial scent. All right. Keep going. I'll get you out in the next good find. Hopefully, we'll find some old stuff. So I just found this. Uh, it looks like an old tin cup. I don't know if it would be old or not, but unfortunately it's pretty much wasted now. Alright, so I walked all the way down there. Didn't find much of anything at all. I'm back up by where I found the musket. Um, it's been a while since I filmed anything whatsoever. So I got a good target here, so I thought we'd go ahead and dig it together. They go one ounce, nope, oh, one and a half ounce fishing sinker. And find tons of lead. But we'll keep on going. Let's see what else we can find. Another sinker. I think I just had a bad angle for you guys. Look at that. Like a big charm bracelet. 
This one here says Sue and Dave 92758 Mala 22067 Wisconsin Dells um, Steven 71250 All of them are marked with sterling It's a lot of silver. Arizona. Somebody's charm bracelet that they were putting together with all their memories. I lost it in the river. I am an evangelical united brethren. Mm. Praying hands, sewing machine. Band. Now that's pretty cool. It's a lot of silver. Got a coin signal right down here. Probably gonna be another memorial penny, but we'll see what happens. Somewhere in all the slime. Yep, Memorial Cent. 1963. There's gotta be an old coin somewhere around here, I would think. I think I just got a pretty good find. Uh, it's not another musket. It's not the butt plate. But I had a good target and dug down. I let the water clear up a little bit and I think I can see it down there. Looks like gold. Let me get my glove off. Let's see if there's any markings on it. I don't see anything, but that looks like old gold to me. I'll have to do a scratch test on it when I get home. I'll let you know, but that's pretty cool. Just pulled this out, getting ready to leave. I'm not sure what it says. Warning, the driver of this truck is missing there. Positive. It's missing there. Not to allow anyone to ride. It's missing there. It looks pretty neat. Just wish I could tell what all it said. Alright, last signal of the day. We'll dig it together and do a wrap up.
Ooh. I wasn't expecting that. A doorknob. Let's see if that's what I was hearing. That was it. Just like last time, I said last signal of the day and I'm walking back to the truck and I get a really nice signal. I had to dig it and I came up with this little charm. So it's got two little like Chinese people um, dancing or something on the back it does say sterling again so more silver on the day and I'll give a close-up picture at the end but we didn't get what we came for but I think we still did all right um, let me show you real quick this is all the junk a vape a um, couple lures, there's the doorknob, not towards the end, this is a tin cup that I think is actually pretty old, the pull tab stuck in it, but it's going to be trash, a sign, a pair of sunglasses, 29 cents worth of pennies, and um, all the sweat, all these sneakers. Some of them look like they're kind of old. Those will all end up in my lead bucket. Six unfired 33 rounds, 122. Found that at the end. A little necklace charm. Cyan, Sterling, um, this, which I'm hoping is going to be gold, but now that I'm feeling I'm not so sure. It might be like uh, gold-plated brass or copper. I know they used to do that quite a bit in the old days. And I think this is the find of the day. This charm bracelet. I don't think it's as old as that ring, but there are a lot of memories on that. Some baby booties, stroller. Bird. Oh, it's a stork bringing a baby. So I think it's been in there a while, especially with the ages, the birth dates. One piece of advice if you're gonna make a bracelet with all your memories on it, don't wear it in the river. Thanks for coming along. Um, we'll see you soon, hopefully. And remember to subscribe and like and share and all that stuff. We'll see you later.